Hi, welcome to Zena Gallery. My name is Zena, and I will be providing a message for November the 7th. Um, just nothing in particular. Let's just see what we get. And I cleared the deck, so let's see. Let's see exactly what the cards want to say. And it's just basically a energy reading. <clears throat> okay, so the first message that I get here is uh, consciousness, um, maybe put yourself, put your conscious at rest, and let's see. <clears throat> Put your conscience at rest and have confidence that despite any dark energy, there is love or you have love or have love despite dark energy. Let's see. Um, so there is abundance and... Okay, so well, abundance, there's abundance coming in, right? And um, it may feel like a mystery at this time, or it may, you may feel like, okay, when is the abundance going to come? Um, you're going to get abundance in the form of being in a comfortable situation. Let's see. There is some energy, I want to say dark energy, but there is some energy that is interfering with your comfort, comfortable situation. Um, it's asking you to surrender to the divine. So if you surrender to the divine and don't try to do anything else, you'll be automatically protected. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna recap after this, so I just want to see what am I what am I getting here? Let's see. So, all right. So with the protection, <clears throat> all right. So you have protection, and whatever the energy outside of your protection. It's really aggressive, okay, and overall it's just trying to uh, cause a disruption, but if you continue to be in your sweet energy and in like, you know, towards yourself or towards any situations, then the protection will not be broken, Okay, if that makes sense. So I'm going to keep going. I want to see what this is about. And then, like I said, we'll do a recap. Focus on your happiness. Or try to find happiness by being, you know, sweet. And, like, create a space for that. Or put some space in between things that aren't bringing sweetness and happiness into your life. Let's see. I see there's a lot of fear and that fear is causing like overall sadness and it's causing frustration I mean obviously yeah if a person is you know fearful it's gonna cause you know obviously sadness and frustration let's see what comes after that Alright, so despite the sadness or any fear, despite the fear that's, that you may have, um, sadness and frustration, you're going to have to go with the flow um, with in mind that, you know, sadness and fear 
looking at frustration it doesn't last and it also may feel like a rejection a rejection of self okay all right let me see so with fear i always get rejection sadness or frustration but it's asking to go with the flow because what's gonna determination all right so yeah go with the flow but use your determination to get through any rejection um fear sadness and frustration all right let's keep going determination use your hunger okay so go with the flow have determination and it will lead to success but how hungry are you for it and what i get with that is not necessarily like success has to be materialistic but it could be like how hungry are you and how determined are you to go with the flow so that you can work through your fears because of your sadness, frustration, and any type of, like, rejection? Isolation. Let's see what this isolation is about. Alright, so with isolation is asking for balance. So... You know, isolate yourself when you have to, and then, you know, spend some time out in social situations, um, or just getting out where you're just not so isolated all the time, so that you can have balance there. Passion, anxiety. All right, so your passions are causing anxiety. Alright, so your passions are causing anxiety. Your creativity um, will help with your growth. It's, creativity will help with your growth. And start working on some ideas on how you can be creative. So that you'll have um, <clears throat> illumination. And the way to get through illumination is just kind of like reflecting on yourself. Reflecting on what you want to do reflecting on what you don't want to do and reflecting on your experiences let's see you have energy movement all right so in order to keep that energy flowing it's uh you have to have some type of movement so you know exercise walks um moving your body you know dancing listening to music just really getting out and getting some activity going that that allows you to have movement in your body. Trust that. Um, trust yourself, and also trust the fact that because you are like working on yourself as far as like using your determination, your hunger, um, move movement, and trying to move that energy cleansing yourself so like cleanse keep it clean keep it like clean like clean could be self-care clean could be like um cleaning up clean could be like um purification cleansing you know water healing um basically detoxing the pain or anything that any bad energy you may have picked up or any bad um, energy that you have within yourself, resentment, grief, um, sadness, fear, anger, frustration, uh, pain, anything that is causing you pain, either from self or from others or from certain situations, have faith in that aspect. Um, be cautious when it comes to your strengths. Be cautious when it comes to your strengths and your weaknesses. So, you know, use your strength. You know, um, what are your strengths? And 
as far as being like peaceful that's great but sometimes we're not supposed to be um you know like a pushover or like people could walk on you because you just want to be peaceful sometimes you have to use your strength to stick up for yourself and like have faith that um basically have faith that have faith not only in yourself but faith in like your divine power and your beliefs that you are able to use strength when it's time to use your strengths and bring in peace when it's time to be peaceful so there needs to be a balance so you got to be cautious on which one are you using and are you using it properly and use your intuition use your intuition when it comes to like your anger so anger what i get what use your intuition when it comes to anger is like um being triggered basically so like you already know you know when you're using your intuition you already know or if you're even sensing anything like paying attention to like any type of little signs or any type of vibes you may feel like because automatically it's going to you know make you angry like we're all human so in that aspect i say <clears throat> your intuition is giving you heads up on if something is going to piss you off or not so like pay attention be cautious when it comes to using your strength and your peacefulness all right so this one kind of was like scattered all over the place so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to do a quick recap and then we'll be finished I don't really like to have the video so long, but let's see. All right, so consciousness, rest your consciousness. Um, let's see, have confidence. <sighs> Do not focus on, like, <sighs> what I'm getting with this card, like, don't focus on, like, how can I say it? Like, don't focus on, like, energy so much that doesn't belong to you. Because any energy that's outside of yourself, that's, like, others energy like focus on your energy um so focus on like your consciousness your resting don't worry about i know we're all like in this energy spiritual warfare you know religious warfare whatever your beliefs are um you know dark good bad whatever the case may be okay don't focus on that trickery magic whatever the hell you want to call it right so don't focus on that. You want to focus on your confidence and you want to focus on resting your conscience so that you are coming from a place of love. And when you're coming from a place of love, you automatically attract abundance. Despite there may be a mystery, just know that you'll always be like in a comfortable situation, all right? And don't worry so much about like any like despite I said like the energy which is like falls under like trickery and all that stuff like don't worry about the other i, I want to call them like possibly like entities or spirits or just like people that do have a bad spirit or people that that you acknowledge that okay this is a spirit and i know they're around like don't focus on that all right because as long as you are surrendering to the divine like your belief your god you know god um your inner source and protection then you stop automatically will stop the disruption and the interference when it comes to that ghost okay like when it comes to that spirit or that energy or that entity or that attachment or just that thing okay um it automatically is like that doesn't belong to you so like don't pick it up all right you're automatically protected and if you don't feel that way then you need to incorporate space between obviously an environment you know people relationships places things that give you that uh i don't know like that gives you that like lack of growth okay and you need to really use put some space in between that so that you can like have your happiness and you can focus on like how loving and and sweet and caring you want to be right and let's see 
isolation. So isolation, remember, you're going to need to have balance with that. Um, all right, we're almost finished here. Okay, so let's see. As far as success, you're going to be... You, use your determination and hungry... Let's see what else. Hold on. Alright, so... Fear. If you're like self-doubting and just don't have the determination, you're automatically calling in fear, okay? So lack of feeling like you're not successful or you don't have any determination, you're automatically calling in fear. And that's going to create the sadness and your frustrations. Like, just go with the flow, even if, like, shit is not working out, right? Um, despite, like, rejection. Remember, re rejection is redirection. I don't give a fuck how bad the rejection turns out to be, okay? It's a redirection. Um, your passion, your passions, yo, like, hey we all love to have passion you know when it comes to people place or thing but if that shit is causing you anxiety you need to like slow that shit down right slow it down uh focus on like your creative passions something that you can create or something that you can work on something that makes you feel like i'm passionate about it so it's keeping me busy or you know I need to be passionate about this because it's allowing me to grow and learn. Like, stay in that growth energy, okay? Um, be hungry for new ideas for yourself, all right? Hungry for ideas for yourself, all right? And that's automatically going to give you illumination. And it helps you with reflection on yourself. Like, what do you need to reflect on? What do you want to change? What do you don't... What do you want to do and what do you don't want to do anymore? So, reflection, right? Uh, energy... Make sure, like, you incorporate energy into exercise, movement. Um, we spoke about that. Trust that when you are, you know, working on this creativity, working on this uh, energy and movement, exercising, just something to create the body to move, trust that you are being cleansed. You're coming from a clean, remember I told you about clean, cleanliness, like, you're, you're cleansing your energy, you're cleansing your thoughts, you're cleansing yourself so that you can grow, and you're cleansing so that that pain can move out. If there's any pain, like, you know, be cautious about that because you, along with pain, like, you have the strength to overcome this pain as long as you have faith and, and believe that, okay? So that you can have peace and create peace, and you'll have that by using your intuition so your intuition can help you with if there's anything that's like pissing you off or making you angry or triggering you, okay? Um, that's what I get from here. So I hope that I was able to communicate it clearly. <laughs> I just felt like it was kind of scattered all over the place, but I hope this does help somebody. Again, thank you. My name is Zena. Thank you for watching Zena Gallery and have a beautiful night. Good night.